Then Suni, oh, I'm so happy to see you. So happy to see you. Didn't make it so yesterday. Happy. So good to see you today. <laughs> I'm glad you had power back. Oh, God. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Yeah. This is kind of like the same alley, can I hear, as uh, Jenny? Yeah. Because uh, okay. rest restlessness. Yes. I feel a lot of it. And I feel it at home, etc. But maybe I have a little more of a ease at home because sometimes I keep forgetting what it is I'm doing and I'm just doing things. And sometimes I can't really even remember if I did things. And then I think either A, I'm getting older or B, it's because it's not really that important. It's just flowing. But I noticed a lot at work is that that when I sit at my computer and when I'm doing my work, it's like I keep wanting to procrastinate mm. what it is I'm doing. Mm. And I can't really f find out if it could be because the ego is bored and just mm. want to go shopping on, on internet sites instead. <laughs> or am I afraid of work because I don't think I'm good enough? Is it actually just because I'm lazy or am I bad at my job or is mm. the job bad mm. or am I afraid or is there something I won't feel? Yeah. I, I don't really. Or, or the last one, D, um, it's either all of the above or E, everything's fine. There's not an issue. There's only the issue you just created. If you if you in the moment when you catch yourself procrastinating in somehow some way that you suddenly think oh let's see what I can shop online, then see if you can do a four five fit about it the exercise with it that you you just sit put your hands on your laps and you just sit and feel into the body what is it right now that I'm trying to divert from because procrastination and every everything we do getting up and getting a cup of coffee or suddenly want to have a piece of cake or shop or anything like that all of that is the version from an internal feeling there's something on the inside that feels icky and it's why the fourth and the fifth feta is so difficult to work with because we're asking you to sit in the ick over and over and over and over and by sitting in the ick, you really feel into, yeah, all the underlying stories, all the hooks into uh, past experiences and traumas and all of those things. You really, really feel into all that. But it, it's, it's what is needed for you to get a clear picture of what it is you're running from. Because the running takes up much more energy than just sitting in the ick. But... When I create a lot of stories about what it is that I'm trying to divert yeah, from. Yeah, I don't want you to do that. No. No, no, not up in your mind. I'm not asking you to go to your mind because you're, I mean, in your mind, you can create stories from mm -hmm. now to eternity. It's not what I want you to do. I want you to stay, to go into the body and feel how it feels in the body right now. What is it in your body right now that is so uncomfortable? that you need to divert by shopping. How does it actually feel? And not put a label on it, I have a tummy ache. Just say, you know, put your hands on it. I have a sensation here. It feels like, you know, something is tidying up here. You know, so it's it's more like just really staying in the staying in the body, in the in the sensations in the body and feeling into what is it that is actually going on here. And then you zoom into it and follow it around because nothing stays the same. Like we talked about when you have a headache, it never stays mm. as a headache. It moves about. It's not a headache. It has multiple of different labels on it. And that's why we need to detach all the labels away with them and just stay with the sensation in the body that is moving about, moving about. So when I'm not looking for, is it because I'm afraid? Mm. I'm looking, I'm not looking for to find sort of that eternal thing I end back with that, that I'm not good enough no. or no. that it's my fault or something. So, but even that can be a diversion. Yeah. Yes, because that's also a label. Yes. Yeah. 
you have yeah. you have a um um an ego storm i'm not saying you have it's just you know mm -hmm. there is an ego story about i'm not good enough and mm -hmm. every time every time we land in a story that is recognizable the ego is happy or oh, this feels good this feels comfortable i've been here before i know the ins and the outs of feeling not worthy and then mm. the ego is happy and all inquiry ends because the ego the ego is comfortable and happy so i would like for you to avoid jumping into a story you know because it's like i talked with the with glenda the great that the moment she takes the suit on, like Deadpool, the moment Ryan Reynolds takes on the suit, he's Deadpool. There's there's no no other role. It's not gonna be a rom com. It's not gonna be you know a drama. It's not gonna be anything but Deadpool. So it needs to happen before you put on the suit. So yeah. you before you put on the suit of the victim, before you put on the suit of Sunni with the low self worth and Sunni with the you know no self esteem and and all of that before you put that suit on stay in that free space where you can be anything you are riley miller from michigan okay and what is it exactly that i can do this is another situation <clears throat> when it is that i make something to be my fault my mm -hmm. my ego sort of just Same thing. i mean I had a situation. I picked up a friend because no, a, co a co-worker because her bus was cancelled yesterday, and I said, "Of course, I can drive by you and pick you up," and yes. and and she had been standing an hour and freezing. Yeah. And 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 later when I thought about it, I was like, "Wow, I, I got to pick her up," and and then my ego thought, "But she was cold for an hour. I could have been faster." Yeah. Which I couldn't. But. No. No, and no, and even if you had been quicker, then she would yeah, have been yeah. she would have been called for 45 minutes and you could have sure. done it quicker. And even if um, you had to be quicker, she would have been called for 30 minutes. You know what? You could have done it quicker. Because it's the ego. It's a plus one game. It never ever yeah. ends. If if the sure. ego had decided that you're gonna lose, you're it, everything's gonna be your fault. It is what the headlight is looking at. Where is anything that I can make into being my fault? It's the only thing that you're looking for. Just like if I ask you to only look at all the white cars today, you're only going to see white cars because it's the only thing you're looking for. So when you have a headlight on that says, Sunni, it's your fault, then it's the only thing that you're going to notice. You're not going to notice that you are a great coworker picking her up instead of going like, fuck you, take the bus. You know, you didn't. You picked her up. No. And yeah. yet you get into a story mm. that's your fault that she's called. Yeah. But when I see that story, do I just laugh and then say, wow, what a great story. Yeah. I did it again. Yeah, oh, yeah you oh. can. You can. You can go like, that is magnificent. Like I've talked about a million times, that that is only one of the million stories that are there. You know, there is a story where you're a savior. There's a story where you are an amazing co-worker. There's a story where you are saving her from standing two hours in the cold. There's a story where you are saving her money from taking a taxi. You know, all of those things. There are millions of other stories you could believe in. But you pick the one where you, it's your fault. Mm. You don't need to believe that anymore. You, it, it was convenient in your family structure that things was your fault. That was convenient. And yeah. it was convenient for you to take that on you. So you had something to occupy yourself with. So you did not notice what was actually happening in the family structure. It's not, so it's when, not I, when I stand in that situation, do yeah. I then also at that situation feel how it feels inside? Or do I just say, wow, magnificent story. Yeah. And, send, and pass it on. Yeah. you uh, could Send it away. Pick, pick another story. Pick mm. another story. Pick the story. When, when you have the story about, oh my God, I feel so bad about her being cold. Pick another story. Well, I came now and not in two hours. She's actually one hour less cold than she would have been if I really had taken my time. Okay, good. So you can, you can just pick another story. That story is just as much a story as the story yeah. that, is, that is hurting you. Yeah. None of them are true. Hmm. Okay.
Thank you. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful.